thunder, lightning, and hail, all a part of these strong storms that moved across northeastern Texas. Winds reported up to 90 miles an hour. The threat of severe weather continues across Texas and the Great Plains. Meanwhile, here in southern New England, warmer temperatures and sunshine on the way. There were long lines on the highway Tuesday as the entire population of Fort McMurray, Canada was ordered to evacuate. A wildfire fueled by high winds is tearing through the area. Over 60,000 people evacuated the oil city. Firefighters from across Canada are being mobilized to help battle the out of control blaze. This is where the phrase turn around, don't drown comes from. A person in Texas tries to drive across a flooded bridge and it looks like they ignored the roadblocks. They make it about halfway across the bridge when the truck is swept away and into the water. The man was able to crawl out of his window and swim to shore. The city of Attleboro is auctioning off nine school buses. The Sun Chronicle says some of them work, some of them don't. The auction is happening right now at publicsurplus.com. Bright, beautiful flowers as far as you can see at the Wicked Tulip Flower Farm in Johnston. It's the first season for the 50-acre tulip farm in the Snake Den Farm on Brown Avenue. You can see over 250,000 flowers and pick your own, even snack on a petal. Yes, some tulips are edible. Primary day in Rhode Island and four other states. Polls are open here until about 8 o'clock. There are 33 Democratic delegates up for grabs and 19 Republicans. Spring is kicking off in southern New England with a fresh blanket of snow. Check out this drone video from the Cape. It's quiet and calm start to the day out there. Well, this storm should wrap up by mid morning and Kelly Bates says we might even get some sunshine later today.